I think Linux is all about options, right? Mm. You shouldn't be like just stuck to no. I should only install via this method. I should only have these repositories and only these packages. The whole point of Linux and the options we have here is that I can have I can have a system on I can have an operating system on my computer whichever way I want it, and I can choose whatever packages I want as long as I obviously trust the developer. But I can choose whatever I want on my system, and that's also one of the like. a uh, core philosophical points of arch mm-hmm. you build your system according to yourself mm-hmm. but the th- kind of thing that people argue about you learn about uh, linux in general i believe that's not true to a great extent as far as arch is concerned mm-hmm. because if you look at the installation process uh, it's it's what packstrap is you partition you generate fs tab and all of the stuff you yeah, get packstrap to create your root uh, file system and mm-hmm. then you install the bootloader microcode and stuff like that uh and then you create your host name and stuff but that's not really learning a whole lot about linux mm-hmm. anyone who has used linux in the past uh as, whether it's manjaro ubuntu they would know this stuff pretty much like in some way or the other mm-hmm. the, the uh, package manager might be different uh, or or maybe the default file system might be different but in some way or the other it's kind of same because it's all linux right mm-hmm. if you really like want to learn about how your system or how your operating system works i think gen2 and its installation is the way to go if you want to like learn about how everything is being made how everything is compiled because as far as repositories in arch are concerned we have packages we are still in arch talking about packages sure when we come to gen2 we are not talking about packages anymore because then we are locally compiling everything on our machine so I really uh, uh and this is my personal opinion that I disagree with people who say that if you don't install arch the uh, the wiki way mm-hmm. you're not going to learn about your computer because yeah. at the end for example if you have arch install the script that's doing the same kind of thing a gui installer would do for you mm-hmm. as well so it doesn't matter if you have a if if you want to keep the installation the wiki way it doesn't matter whether you are doing it on a tty or a gui like plasma because as long as you have stuff like arch install or any kind of automated script it's basically going to leave you as clueless as a gui installer would mm-hmm. right well, even so. just going through the wiki and just running the commands blindly is going to like you won't learn anything from that yeah exactly exactly one thing i would disagree with you uh disagree with you there uh is with gen2 I've gone through the Gen2 installation process. It's not that different from Arch. Like it can be if you want to go through that process of like you know compiling the kernel yourself and customizing all of the uh compile options things like that. You can absolutely go and do so. But if you want to take the easier path, you can basically do an Arch style installation on Gen2 with no problem whatsoever. The one thing Gen2 does have much better though is The documentation for the installation is just miles ahead of Arch. Like everything yeah. has like two or three paragraphs explaining what every little thing does. Arch it's like, "Hey, uh do this, it sets your time. Do this, it sets your keyboard. Do this, it sets your files." <laughs> and that's basically yeah. it. Exactly. <laughs> If you really want to learn about how Linux works and how it pieces like how it's all pieced together, Honestly the best way to do that is just sit down. This isn't what you would do for a daily drive system but sit down and go through Linux from scratch. It yeah. will take you a long time. But if you really want to learn about Linux, that's the best way to do it. Yeah, absolutely because that will also like most of the like for example Arch Gen 2, you get a package manager out of the mm-hmm. box. um when you start from lfs you you don't even have a package manager to start from so everything that you want on your system you're compiling it manually yeah. and installing it manually and like a very good example of this is kaos if you know that uh, kaos kaos whatever it's called uh there are also i think an lfs system mm-hmm. but then they use pacman as a package manager right so if you really like want to learn all the hardcore internals from scratch yeah lfs is the way to go mm-hmm. 